Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, is there such a thing as unipolar mania? So before I answer this question, let me briefly cover what mania is and when we see it. A manic episode is a component of bipolar 1 disorder. A hypomanic episode, which is a less severe version of mania, is a component of bipolar 2 disorder. And with mania, we see an abnormal, persistent, elevated, expansive, or irritable mood. And there are a few other criteria from a list of criteria that have to be met. For example, an increased sense of self-importance, somebody having a very positive outlook, a decreased need for sleep, poor appetite or weight loss. An individual could have flight of ideas, impulsiveness, poor concentration, an increased level of activity. We could see an increased involvement in pleasurable activities, as well as bad decisions with money, excessive spending, and sometimes aggressive behavior and irritability. So if that abnormal, persistent, elevated, expansive, irritable mood has some criteria, there's some of those criteria along with it, that could be a manic episode. Now, if a manic episode is observed and there's no depressive episode currently or in the history, that would still typically be a bipolar 1 diagnosis. We typically think of bipolar 1 as having a manic episode at some point in a client's history and a depressive episode. That's because that's what we see most of the time, the vast majority of the time. But it's not technically necessary to have a depressive episode to be diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder. Only the mania is technically required. Only one manic episode is required. So to answer the question, is there such a thing as unipolar mania? Well, the answer is we don't know. But if it is a distinct construct, right now it's grouped together with bipolar 1 disorder. There is very little research available on whether unipolar mania truly exists as a distinct construct. So right now, I would say we just don't know. Further research is necessary. Now another interesting and related question, the next logical question would be, is there such a thing as unipolar hypomania? And this gets a little trickier because with bipolar 2 disorder, which is where we would see hypomania, a major depressive episode is required for that diagnosis. So if an individual has hypomania, a hypomanic episode, but no depression, that would not be bipolar 2. That may be an other related disorder, but not bipolar 2 disorder. And here, really, the answer comes down to the same thing, though, in terms of does it exist? We don't know. Unipolar mania and unipolar hypomania are both understudied. More research is needed to determine if either of those constructs is really distinct. It seems likely that with some people you would only see hypomania, and some people you would only see mania. So it's certainly possible it's out there in the field that we could find it. But is it something that's common enough where it would be a distinct set of diagnostic criteria and a distinct diagnosis? That we just don't know yet. This question does, however, lead us to the interesting information behind bipolar 1 disorder. Again, you don't need a major depressive episode to qualify for that disorder although we almost always think of those two constructs, mania and depression, as being necessary for bipolar 1. And you do need the major depressive episode for a diagnosis of bipolar 2. And of course, we almost always think of bipolar 2 as both hypomania and depression. And then that makes sense based on what we know from the DSM. I hope you found this description to be interesting. Thanks for watching.